So the movie begins with a small town and this time was 1860 we see a house in the middle of the forest Indiana this house, a woman named Florence used to live with her three children one day the weather was very bad as it was 1860 at that time, there was no electricity that's why these people used candles even today. Florence was sitting in her room with her three children suddenly she has to go down then she sees something behind her which was covered with white cloth she gets worried when that. White cloth was going to her children's room she gets scared when Florence follows her she doesn't see anyone but when she comes to her children's room her son was missing she asks her daughter she says that a black man took her she thought that her daughter was scaring her she goes down to find her son she asks her maid to find her son then she hears a noise from her children's room when she goes to her children's room she doesn't find her son she was very scared she starts searching her. Children's room her maid comes to her and tells that she didn't find her children then she sees a white cloth the man behind that cloth was laughing Florence thought that he must be her son who was joking with her but when she removes the cloth there was no wonder the story goes on for three months we see a lady who was a paranormal investigator she knew very well about ghostly souls and could talk to them she was helping a man the man's son was. Also missing Florence comes there she asks for help from that lady but she refuses Florence was very sad because her children were not found yet we see another lady there her name was Kelly she was also a paranormal investigator but her ways were different she asks Florence why she came she says that three months ago her children were missing and now I feel that there is a ghost of a man her name is nurseryman she says that her children used to call that ghost by a name when she told me I didn't believe her but now I believe that that ghost took my children with it I don't know why I feel like my children are still alive because I hear my children laughing and I hear my younger daughter crying after hearing this Kelly was ready to help her the next day she goes to her house Florence had all the windows of her house covered with cloth because she could see that ghost in the glass when Kelly removes the cloth from the glass she can't see anything here we know that this house was the ancestral home of Florence's husband and a few years ago Kelly asks her that where do you hear your children's voice the most? She tells her about the children's room Kelly takes out her endorsing rod this was the rod with which she could talk to the ghosts when Kelly comes to the children's room she feels like someone slapped her Kelly says to the children of Florence where are you? If you are, make me feel like I am that's when ABC blocks come and fall down they were making words here means we are here that's when the rod in her hand gets hot which burned her hands then we see Kelly's house there was also her son she tells her son about Florence that she needs my help and asks her son to bring some books her son gives Kelly a letter from Florence in which Florence had written that she doesn't want to live in Florence and living in that house reminds her of her children. And everything that happened with Kelly in her house was also telling her to stay away from this case but Kelly had decided that she will definitely solve this case she shifts to the same house after a week and then she removes the cloth from all the windows of the house now she stands in front of the mirror she first puts holy powder outside the children's room so that no soul will be able to go out she also rings the doorbell now she reads a book to complete the method of the mirror so that she can look around in the other world but then she saw someone sitting on a chair in the mirror she also feels Florence's daughter who came back to her room after roaming around the soul of the nurseryman was also trying to scare Kelly again and again so the soul of the nurseryman scares her again Kelly tells her that you can't scare me and you can't do anything to me when she goes to sleep in the middle of the night she hears someone crying from the children's room when she goes there she sees a drowning doll there were strange marks on the doll and there were also blocks from which it was written I can after that, outside the children's room Kelly also keeps some coins, so that the soul does not harm her, she finds a drawing made by the nurseryman behind which it was written one day Kelly's son sends him a letter. Because he found out about an old woman who used to live in this house Kelly goes to meet the old woman the old woman tells her that I have felt someone's soul in that house and many times I have seen it in the mirror, it's been. 70 years but even today I am scared of that soul the old woman tells her that the same soul had also made my brother disappear and my brother could not be found, after which we left that house otherwise he would have killed me too after a while, Kelly drops the drawing of the nurseryman which the old woman recognized. Because this drawing was made by that woman's brother who had disappeared she says that when my brother wanted to tell everyone about this no one believed her, Kelly asks the old. Woman if there is no way to stop this soul the old woman says no seven years ago, a man came to me and his children had also disappeared he also came to me for help and here we find out that the old woman was talking about a man who was no one else but Florence's husband Florence's children disappeared three months ago so why did her husband come to this woman for his children seven years ago? 
We will find out later before leaving, the old woman tells Kelly a shocking thing that that soul had given me a sign after which it kills every person it marks, but I left that house that's why I'm alive, when Kelly shows her her sign the old woman says you have to leave that house soon your life is in danger but Kelly doesn't listen to the old woman. And leave she had now come to Florence she tells her everything that the old woman had told her Florence was saying bad things about her husband. Because she didn't believe her children however, her children told her when Kelly asks her the reason for her husband's death she says that that soul had given my husband, a sign after which he died and gave me the same sign that's why I left that house, after hearing this, Kelly came back to her house because she had asked her son for some books not Kelly. But Florence's husband wrote them because he used to teach in the university Kelly's son brings a lot of books from Darkwood House Kelly. And her son read those books all night, but they don't get anything that's when Kelly's son feels that someone has put his hand on his shoulder he is very scared, and because of this fear he leaves there Kelly finds out the real truth she reads the book written by Florence's husband Florence's husband used to live in the same house since childhood that soul used to scare her in her childhood but, when she grew up and got married that soul, who was also called a nursery man, made her children. Disappear Florence's husband remarried and she had two children this time, Florence's husband was ready to face that soul but this time also, her children disappeared then she married Florence that means, Florence was her third wife this time also, she was ready to face that soul but before this, she died and then Florence's children disappeared after knowing all this. Kelly goes to the children's room where that nursery man's soul was coming and scaring her again when Kelly tells all these. Things to Florence, she cries a lot and doesn't stay in control, that's why Kelly gets her admitted to the hospital then she comes back to Florence's house here, her son also came to meet her when he comes and goes to that room he reaches there and sees the coins that Kelly had kept there Kelly's son removes one of those coins then Kelly's son hears the crying of the children when he calls Kelly, there was no wonder the door was closed on the other side, Florence jampeded and lost the life. Kelly comes back to Florence's house and challenges, that soul that you can't scare me and breaks all the windows of the house after which she tells that soul to leave my son if you want to take him, take me with you when she finds him, she finds his son she takes him to her house where she finds a book in which she finds that in the olden days, people used to do a magic so. Kelly reads the method here if that person's bones are removed and made holy and buried in the ground then that soul will. Be freed after knowing this, Kelly goes back to Florence's house Kelly found that sign she finds a skull from that room which she gives to her son to bury when she goes there, a soul comes and makes Kelly unconscious Florence's house was on fire but Kelly's son takes that skull out and buries it in the ground after which we see a man next to Kelly, who was picking him up Kelly's son was looking at his mom, who was telling him to come to her when he follows his mom he finds Kelly's dead body. Yes, Kelly is dead yes, Kelly is dead and her son picks her up and takes her with him while crying here. Whoever wanted to face that soul, he lost his life but he killed that soul while dying but in return, he lost his life and the man, we saw who gave Kelly his hand was her husband's soul who came to take Kelly with her and with this, Kelly's film story ends here, thanks for watching.